Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way, where I like to rescue and renew projects to be re-loved. Well, the free shack does it again. I went to the dump the other day and we have a free area that people will put things that they no longer want, but they're still good. And I found these really cool witch boots. Uh, they were $5 wherever they picked them up. And I thought they would be great as a primitive makeover. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off these purple ties and I'm going to clean up the stickers and stuff on the back so that I can paint that just in case it's seen from both sides and get these cleaned up. After doing the one coat on the back, I flipped over the shoes and did the other side. I really didn't like the distressing on the front, so I thought I would repaint it and then distress on my own. So I'm just going to distress around the edges, not in the middle, and get that all distressed up. And then I'm going to take my antique wax and I'm going to go over the shoes. I'm going to darken up those spots where I've sanded back down to the faux wood and I'm also giving the black a nice antiqued old look. Once I get them covered with the antique wax I just wipe them back with a rag. Now here for a little bit I'm going to show you what it looks like with the antique wax the one in my right hand and without the one in my left hand and again it just gives it a nice aged look. So now I need to make some stiffened fabric here that I'm gonna use for kind of my buckles on the side of the shoe or on the top of the shoes. So I am use some of this Mod Podge Stiffy, I think it's called. I've never used this before, it's brand new. There was a seal in it. I don't even know where I got it. It has a, um, I think a Michaels sticker on it. So it may have come in one of my grab bags that I've purchased in the past. But all you do is wipe it on there, uh, just brush it on, and then let it sit and dry, and it stiffens up some. So I cut these into strips as long as I wanted. I want to cover up the holes where the laces were because I want this to look like there's some buckles going over instead of or these leather straps, I guess, instead of the laces. So I'm just kind of putting it in between the two holes so we can cover up the holes. You should still kind of see them, but it's okay. And then I'm just going to glue them on. And I think these come out really, really cute. And um, once I get that done, I will show you what I use for the little snap. Now I was thinking about leaving these the burlap color. I thought this would be a cool color to keep on there, kind of contrast. But I've decided that I want them to blend in a little more, but I like that burlap texture. So it looks more like a, a black strap going across the shoe. So I'm painting it black, all three of the straps. 
and I'm going to do that just just cover as much of it as possible I'm basically stippling the paint on so that it gets down in those little pores of the burlap and then I have these uh, velvet tacks that I got from Dollar Tree and these are going to work great as kind of my buckles I guess you'd call it um, I found these a while ago and I wasn't sure what I was going to use them on but I knew that I'd be able to use them on one of my projects for something and I it came to mind that I had these and I thought oh perfect and again I put them on thinking I think I'm going to leave them the light color I kind of like that look these are going to be kind of elegant witch boots so I thought these would look kind of cool the way they are and then I was like nope I want them to look a little more spooky um, I want them to be just uh, look old and these look a little bit too old or too new so I decided to go over them with my black paint on those as well now I didn't completely cover them you can still see the white a little bit through there because I just thought it they would it would make them look more dingy kind of dingy shoes and uh, then I got my grubby mix out because I wanted the buckles and uh, the little buttons faux buttons to um, look uh, rusted to look aged and so I got my grubby mix out which is cinnamon and allspice and and uh, coffee and all kinds of stuff and I'm just putting it on where the paint is still a little bit damp and I'm rubbing it in and this gives it a really cool look just on the shoe straps and the little buttons so I really like how this looks and it gives it a really primitive aged look and that it's it, I just really really love it I was digging around in my stash and found this material that I forgot I picked up it was quite a while ago it was a dollar fifty and it's a nice big chunk of like orange homespun material and then I have this stained uh, just linen material and or I don't think it's a uh, yeah I think it's just linen and I decided I would make a just rip a strip off each and then I'm going to glue them together so I'm going to use the lighter colored material and make it so it sticks out the, of the top. I'm going to make a little ruffle for the tops of my shoes. So I'm just ripping off a thinner piece on this tea stained or coffee stained material. Um, and looking back now, I should have used lace. I got a bunch of vintage lace from Goodwill a little while back. And I think lace would have been perfect, especially once you see the end result and what I do at you know with the back of the shoe and I wish I had used the lace but I forgot that I had it honestly uh, even though it's for sale on my Etsy shop and I have packages all ready to go if people want to purchase some uh, which the link is down in the description but I just totally forgot that I had it and uh, I wish I had remembered because I definitely would have used it uh, in this project so as you can see, I'm just doing a light uh, bit of glue near the top. And then, so what I'm trying to do is let this lighter material stick out of the top. I'm just gonna layer it, see, just like that. And then I make a little trim piece here and glue it so I have a nice edge. And then I'm gonna just kind of create a, a ruffled stocking, I guess, or something to that effect uh, and it's I'm just gonna glue it little little ruffles little folds so I make a fold and then I glue it and then I make another little fold a little bit further down and I'm gonna make it long enough so uh, it will just go across the top of my shoe Once I get the ruffle long enough to fit across the shoe, now it's time to figure out how I want to 
attach it. Um, originally, I wanted to do it like this with it like stuck to the back and standing up. I really like how that looks. Uh, but then I folded it down and I'm like, oh, I really like how it looks across the front of the of the shoe. So, uh, you know, I'm trying it all different ways and I go back to, you know, all I just try them all and I'm still not sure. And then I decide I really like it how it folds down over the side of the shoe. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue it so it goes down, not covering up my my cool little straps because I really like those. But see how it just goes down over and I just glue it on like that. And then I fold the backs up so it looks nice and neat just in case you can see it from the back side. I also at the very end, once I put uh, everything on this that I'm going to put on, I take another little strip and I put it on the back to cover up uh, the flowers and stuff that I put on there. So you'll see how I do that. But I don't think I videoed covering up the back. Um, but I wanted to make it look more finished. So again, if it was hung on a door maybe, and you could see it from the back side, that it it didn't look terrible. It still looked it still looked nice. Mm -hmm. Now this is antiquing spray and I usually use the sprayer for these kind of things, but my sprayer evidently has decided it doesn't want to work anymore. So I'm just taking it out of the bottle. I unscrewed it and I'm just putting it on. I'm trying to get a little bit of dampness on the, the material and also give it a little bit of age. So I'm taking the dirt, it's called from Dixie Bell and I'm sprinkling it on my material to give it a little bit of an aged look. I want it to look weathered and old and like they never get washed and like she wears them out and they're just dirty, dirty from being out and about and doing whatever witches do. <laughs> so I am just going to do that to both of those shoes. And then I'm adding a strip of Spanish moss over the front and top of my stockings and that's going to cover up some of the uh, flowers and um, sweet annie that i'm going to put in here and uh, it just gives it a nice look too it just kind of makes it look like uh, something has kind of is kind of living in there i guess so uh, it finishes off the top of the boot so i'm just trimming off some of my sweet annie that i have and I'm going to glue that from the back so it sticks out of the top. Once I get all the sweet Annie that I want on it, I grabbed some of these pip berries from a just a candle ring that I had that's kind of fallen apart. It's black and tan, so I thought it would be perfect for uh, this application. Give it a little bit of color near the top and just give it a more of a primitive look as well. Don't be afraid to revamp some of those old items into beautiful primitive repurposed and upcycled home decorations for fall and Halloween. Get creative, don't be afraid, to get dirty and put some things together that you might have overlooked in the past. This is the lace that I was talking about and I cut off a few strips of different ones. I tied a little knot halfway or just a little bit down from the middle and made a little loop and glued that to the back of my shoe. Now I have a rusty safety pin and bell and I'm going to pin those right to the back near the right on top of the lace and that's going to finish off these boots
I started this project quite a while ago, like a few months ago. So I set it aside because I just got frustrated with it and just couldn't picture what I was going to do with the project. So this was an old cutting board and I painted it off white. And now I'm taking some napkins and I'm going to just rip, randomly rip out the flowers. I'm going to do two of these because I'm going to do one in the top corner and one in the bottom corner on each side. So I'm just taking some Mod Podge. I separated the napkins into one ply and I'm going to add the paper towel or the napkin, I should say, to my board. Now after I did this and sealed it all up, um, and as you can see, I'm just using my brush here to get it to lay down nice and flat with no wrinkles. I kind of set this aside and just stopped working on it. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it from here. I had an idea and then it just kind of went by the wayside. And so I decided that I would, as I was cleaning things up in my craft area, I said, I really should finish this project. And so I thought I would start with adding some antique wax to my board. Of course, I want to make this look more of a rustic piece. And so I covered it all over with the antique wax and then I'm wiping it back. I have this little birdhouse that I thought would look really cute on the front of the, we're going to call it a sign or shelf sitter. And I thought this would be great to give it a different paint job. Now I know it's a lighter colored green, but I really like this color green. And I had this from a previous project that I didn't finish up the paint and I'm going to finish it up before it dries out. So I'm just going to add this by stippling. So that gives me a little bit of some peaks here and there, and it just gives it some texture. And now I'm going to take some black paint and work on the little roof and paint that all black. This is the Rustic Wednesday, but on Saturday, hosted by my friend Dawn Sh at Shabby Meets Bling and I, and we're going to be hosting it with several other creators, so there will be a playlist down in my description box for you to check out. Make sure you check out all these creators that have come on and shown their talents on different rustic, primitive, and rusty creations. I wanted to add some little distressing to my little birdhouse. So I took my black paintbrush with a little bit of black paint and I'm just going around the edges to give it the distressing that way instead of sanding it back. So I'm just gonna go around the little bird hole there and the very edges of the bottom of the birdhouse. And then I have my rub and buff in the antique gold and I'm going to take that and use that on the well kind of all over but mostly on the roof because I think it will stick out the best on the roof. And then I'm going to take my antique wax and go over the whole birdhouse and get that all covered and then I will go back and wipe it back. That's why I stippled the paint on the front because I thought that the wax would sit in the little stippled parts and give it more of an old distressed look. I'm going to take some of my E6000 and some hot glue and put it on the back of my little birdhouse so I can attach it to my board. I also had, be, just before this, taken a little bit of black paint and wiped it across like in a dry brush fashion to give the back of the board a little bit more dimension. I thought it would just was still just a little bit flat and it needed a little something. So I wiped a little black paint and then brushed it off, uh, wiped it off a little bit so it wasn't too, too dark. I have a little bird that I want to put in the little bird hole. So I took some antique wax and put it on that. He was just a little bit too bright for what I have going on here. So I just put that on and then wiped it back so that he wasn't too dark. I just wanted a little bit of distress on him. 
Then I'm going to take some Spanish moss and put it in the hole and add my little bird. Now's the time, if you haven't already, to hit the subscribe button. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that bell so it notifies you anytime I have an upload so you don't miss any of our repurposed, upcycled videos. I'm going to add the little bird to the hole like he's sitting in his nest and looking out. And then I'm going to decorate around his little house for fall. I had these little foam pumpkins in my stash, so I thought they would look really cute stacked up on the bird's front stoop, as it will. Uh, so I took a little bit of antique wax and went around the pumpkins again to give them a little distressing and age so it would match the rest of my project. Put that on and then wiped it back on all three of them. And then I went ahead and started to glue them and stack them on the little ledge. And I think these came out so cute. Had some little sunflowers left over from a previous project so I thought that I would use them on this one as well. I added antique wax on them to give them some age to match the rest of the piece, added that to the top and I think that was a great touch on the little house so sweet. this rub-on transfer that I picked up from Dollar Tree quite a while back. have no idea if they still have it or not, but they have a saying on here, fall in love with your life. And I thought it was just a beautiful sentiment. And of course, just the fall uh, saying in here was perfect for this fall piece. So I cut the pieces apart and I put fall in love on one side and then with life on the other side. I cut out the your. I thought it sounded better that way. And I just thought this piece needed a little bit more, some words to it. And I thought this was perfect for what I was looking for. And so I was lucky to find this because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it once I got the house decorated. Now I then took a black paintbrush with just a little bit of black paint and went around the edges and gave it some more distressing. I wanted to define the edges and bring some of the black, make that pop and bring it out in the piece. And I think this does it just perfectly. I hope you enjoyed my projects today. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite if you had one. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications. Check out that playlist down in the description box and I'll have it pinned also to the top of the comments to make it a little easier to find. Make sure you check out this next video on your screen. I know you're going to love it. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.